Women's football in France has taken a huge leap forward in the past decade. Since the French Football Federation launched a major development project eight years ago, the number of women officially registered with the Federation has almost doubled to reach about 180,000. With 12 teams, the French women's top flight is one of the biggest and best leagues in the world, something that's helped the national team to new heights. France are now fourth in the FIFA World Rankings and among the favorites to lift the World Cup on home soil. We have more experience now. Many of us have played in international competitions, especially the Champions League, whether it's with Lyon, Paris Saint-Germain or Montpellier. We need to use that experience in the World Cup. There's plenty of talent on our team, with a mix of youth and experience. We have a competitive squad. Like Le Sommeur, six other France players hail from Lyon, the country's most successful women's team, with 17 national titles and six European trophies, and with 7 million euros, the league's biggest budget. While women in football still make just a fraction of their male counterparts, top players in France can make about 60,000 euros a year. But higher wages aren't the only reason foreign players are attracted to France. The reason I came here is because of football. The club gives us everything. Everything is bigger, the infrastructure is better, the training conditions are better, there is more staff, the medics are better. It's all very professional. The quality of the league has also brought in more fans and with them more interest in broadcasting rights. From 200,000 euros in 2017, TV rights to the women's top flight jumped to 1.2 million last year. And the World Cup is following the trend. FIFA is hoping to reach about 1 billion viewers during the competition. Advertising for this World Cup will be close to what it was during the Euro or the World Cup. Major companies are interested because the audience is there. French fans are hoping Les Bleus will follow in the footsteps of the men's team in being crowned world champions. But whoever wins the trophy, women's football will surely be the real winner.